Hi, my name is Sage and I'm 10 years old and today I'm going to show you the Salt Lake Slips. It's a climbing route and it's kind of funny because in climbing you don't want to slip but it's called the Salt Lake Slips. It's a climbing area filled with all different sorts of routes that beginners and intermediates can all enjoy. The slips are located in Big Cottonwood Canyon. Drive two and a half miles up Big Cottonwood Canyon and then park on the left hand side. My favorite time to climb there is in the fall where the trees have all those wonderful colors and it's nice and cool so you're not overheating. In the spring and early summer, you have to park in the Storm Mountain Picnic area and hike around to slips. I don't really like to take the hike, so I like to go in the fall when I can take the shortcut across the creek. You can't really do that in the summer because the water is high and fast and it can be dangerous. For me, rock climbing is definitely what it says, you're climbing rock. But I love just doing it and climbing with my mom. She's a great climber, so it's really fun. So I am just tying in a figure eight knot for safety so I don't fall, at, fall off the rope and kill myself. When I'm getting started and I'm getting into the harness, I'm excited and I want to do this climb. Climbing is a challenge and it gets a little tough when you can't seem to find any holds and it makes you want to, you have to persevere to climb. You have to believe you can do it. Just because kids are small, they can still do all the things that adults can do. Except for maybe drive a car. But I just think to myself, I know I can do this. And so I just continue. Some kids are just really good. And I think some adults wish they could be like that. But it just goes to show that even the smallest thing can do just as much as the biggest thing. I just think to myself, well, she can do it or he then I can do it as well. My arm's sore from, from reaching high distances to grab a hold. Climbing, you don't have to really work as a team with people. You. You have a partner to help you, belay you, and give you tips and tricks, but you're not really working as a team. And you're not really competing, unless you're doing competitive climbing. And it's just fun, and you get to try and test yourself on things you never thought you can do. And it's just so exhilarating when you reach the highest point and you look down and you say, I can't believe I just did that. I cannot believe I just did that. And it's just so fun. It's almost like you release 
you're releasing all this air you've been holding in. And it just feels so good. to start climbing outdoors you should start in a climbing gym where it's more safe but after you've learned the basics of climbing and you've gotten the hang of it you should totally go outside because it's totally worth it anyone who loves to climb will keep coming back to the salt lake slips if you see me out on a climbing wall make sure to say hi Well, that's it for this week's edition of Utopia. But after watching that last segment, I feel like maybe, just maybe, I could start a new sport. But hey, if you'd like to see some behind the scenes or any episodes you might have missed, join us online at utopiatvseries.com. And as always, remember, don't be a couch doorsman. Get outside and enjoy this beautiful Utopia. Utopia.